I think we're in a unique time where we have a perfect storm for a lot of emerging technologies. Certainly, artificial intelligence is going to become more and more integrated into how we do business, and we're seeing that happen pretty rapidly. The Colorado Technology Association has a pretty simple mission. We're here to ensure that tech thrives in Colorado. I'm passionate about that specifically because I feel that's where our next middle class is coming from. We're working a lot in economic development because we do want this ecosystem to continue to thrive. We work on policy, smart policy, to ensure that we have innovation thriving in our state and at the federal level. We also bring the community together. We're working on the talent front. That's one of the gating factors for growth in tech. And so we're working to bring more talent into the industry. We've seen artificial intelligence augmenting analytics for a while. Right now, we're creating a ton of data that is unstructured. So between AI and machine learning, we're able to take that information and turn it into insights. What it's going to do is disrupt the job market because what we're mostly seeing is narrow AI, better decisions from the data. If you're in a job where you're making decisions that take you about 30 seconds repetitively, you'll probably not have that job and it'll be replaced by technology. But the good news is that technology is going to create more jobs that aren't available today. You have the technology-based jobs, people that have the skills to create in these new emerging technologies. But you're also going to have skilled workers that need to be di digitally literate to use the technology to do their jobs better. Often chatbots are actually being run by a computer, but the computer doesn't know all of the information. So you could have a customer service rep with five or six chats going on at the same time and monitoring that with the information that's needed that comes from the human being that's more sophisticated than what AI is doing. But if you don't know how to work in that environment, that would be tough. So that would be a great example of really a, a job being reinvented. Technology is very dynamic and it's different than how we have done business in the past. And so it takes a different set of, of skills. We need critical thinking. Uh, you need to be able to solve problems, work in groups, and be effective when you don't have all the answers. The other thing I would say is that curiosity is incredibly important. We need the technical skills. That's a given, but you need to be able to do it in the context of what the business needs. You know, we've been in the industrial age, and now we're seeing the digitization of that. We're about to move into an age of intelligence. Big technology that's really important is 5G. 5G is the transport mechanism for making all of this work. So we're in a situation where all of these technologies are maturing and making a difference in business. The world has become very small and it's very easy to do business across borders. And I think it's important for our membership to really have a sense of that and how to go about it. A lot of emerging technologies show up in the consumer space because there's less friction. And so we saw a lot of implementations of augmented reality. We saw uh, changes in how we interact with our technology. And that boundary is going to change. We, right now, it's very discreet. That's technology. This is us. In the future, it's going to be kind of a blur that we will be so entrenched in our technology that it will be almost second nature to us to incorporate it.